Jan. I'm going under the light. I'm snuggled in, but I don't know what's going to happen. She's <laughs> going under the knife. <laughs> I don't need any more blankets. I'm gonna have a hot flash. Yeah. Okay. Did you cut hair too? <laughs> Actually, I cut mine last week. <laughs> well, I just had mine done. So. I'm good there. I couldn't get in, so I just started cutting away. It's terrible. That's not bad, but... Well, I figured I, I saved myself $65. Oh, I know. It's ridiculous. And you know what? Who looks at the back of your head anyway? That's in my case. Okay. I'm going to take a look at your skin. Mm, the craters. I know that there's a few little things that need um, to be revealed. <laughs> nice lipstick color. It's too bad it's going to be off. No, well, this is 24 hour lipstick mm -hmm. from Maybelline. <laughs> okay, you know what, Jan? You're actually doing pretty good. Um, you do have some fine lines going on here on your fine the craters <laughs> up in your forehead area, but that's okay. Um, so will micro microdermabrasion help those, or should I like should you use Botox? What what do you recommend? Like I've never done anything. I'm as natural as you can get here. So well, you're naturally beautiful. You're doing really good. Um, to answer your question, yes, microdermabrasion will help. Uh, because it, it, a, a wrinkle is like a, a mountain with a with a crater, and if we abrade the tops of the mountains off and feed the crater, guess what? The wrinkle will disappear. Ooh, nice. um, Botox. What Botox does is it will actually stop you from frowning. It can last for six to eight months, and then there's different fillers that can happen to fill in the wrinkle, and it actually will take the wrinkles away. Then when the Botox wears off. Hopefully, by that point, we have trained our face, trained ourselves not to frown. And it actually does work. I've seen it. Um, not to frown? What? It's so when you're upset, you still smile? Well, you know, you can do it. <laughs> no, you're just not doing this kind of thing. Oh, but that's, I do that kind of thing because I'm squinting because I can't see. Well, yeah. You see, we've got to stop that. But other than that, You've got uh, some fragile capillaries, some redness. That's going to give you your color. That's not a bad thing, but um, sometimes people get a little freaked out about that. There's something called Genesis that can help with that, um, which is a laser, type of laser that I uh, do in the doctor's office. And it, it is exactly that. It's skin renewal. It's a, a Genesis, a new beginning. So your skin, um, it helps your skin to regenerate uh, at a quicker pace. Quicker level. You got a little bit of fragile capillaries around your chin area too. And as what far does as that mean exactly? Just they're tiny little red blood vessels. And there are different serums and creams that can help um, strengthen the these little red blood vessels. One of them uh, that comes to mind is horsetail. And horsetail, do you remember as a kid, snake grass? Snake grass? Yeah, it was like long skinny snake grass and, and you tear it apart and it would be hollow inside. They're like tall reeds that would grow in a field. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. that has a silica, um, and silica will help uh, strengthen the capillary walls and help. Um, what happens with when, when the walls are not strong is when you see the blood, the blood vessels. So you want to strengthen the capillary walls. So we've got some products that is available to help with that. Or the other um, thing to go would be to do laser genesis. But you know what, Jan? It gives you color, so I mean, you know, there's there's no real problem with it. Um, your tonicity is good. I can see you've been in the sun, so you've got a little bit of hyperpigmentation going on, but that's okay. Microdermabrasion. I just got that from Maui. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> 
other than that, you know what, you're pretty good. Hydration's pretty good. You don't really have too much of an oily T-zone thing. We don't have to go to war with extractions on you. You're doing doing actually really, really, really good. Oh, I can hear that. Considering, so what are you actually doing at home, if you, if I may ask or don't ask? Ah, what am I doing at home? You what's, know, your, what's your home care? My home care is really simple, because I am one of these people that likes to be out of the door from shower to shoes in under 30 minutes. So okay. <laughs> I, I actually try and do everything as low maintenance as possible. Yep. So I, I use um, Gatineau, I believe is the product, and it's a... Um, it's the makeup remover, so I use that at night. Okay, close. And then I use um, just a, can't remember what the product name is, the um, it's a, the night cream. Okay. Like actually, I've gotten that from your company. Okay. Um, what, what's the name of that? It's a very powerful um, uh, night cream. And um, other than that, I, a lot of times I don't even put any sort of foundation on my skin. Yeah. So, and I use all my eye products and my lip products, again, low maintenance, low maintenance, low maintenance. So. Yeah. Um, so, you're naturally beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we want to do today is, is just enhance what you're already doing. So what are we going to start with? I'm going to start with a cleanse. My hands are going to be a little cold. Okay. Ooh, Why is it cold? Our cream feels cold. Just a temperature. The room's a little cold. But cold would be good for you because of your fragile capillaries. Really? Fragile capillaries don't like heat. So it's a good thing. What happens if, with heat? Heat will accelerate them. They'll pop out more. You want to cool them down. Really? Hmm. Hot flashes? Not bad. <laughs> First of <no> summers. <laughs> Unfortunately, the personal summers come when they want to come. <laughs> oh, when I want them to come. No, tell me about it. Is there anything that you recommend to alleviate that? The personal summers? Yeah. Oh. Um, Bioidenticals. Um, I actually did quite a bit of research on it and went to the doctor myself. I had a lot of girlfriends that were really going through a tough time with it. And I went to a, do a GP, a female, just up the street, and she took some blood tests from me and she discovered that I actually had no estrogen. No estrogen? And she said to me, how are you coping? Wow. And I said, not very well. And so she said to me, what are some of your symptoms? And I said, well, first of all, I'm exhausted. I have no energy, mind fog. I walk into a room and I can't remember why I walked into the room. Um, depression, uh, just, just being out of sorts. Um, skin was acting weird. Um, on an emotional level, just not myself. And the big thing was just no energy. I, I needed to take afternoon naps if I could, because um, I was just exhausted. Wow. So she um, she then said to me that I, I needed to do something about it. She recommended for me not to take estrogen. Really? Because estrogen causes cancer. So she said for me to take progesterone, which will help accelerate our own estrogen levels. On that thought, um, I just want to take a quick break here, if that's okay. So, we're learning a whole lot from Kim. How do I look now? <laughs> uh, we're going to come back in two minutes and see what else she's got.